Wait a moment. This isn't a furry visual novel. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. So if you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon, today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Changeling Tale, Jesse's Path. I don't know how much more of Jesse's content we have to get through. Last episode was pretty substantial, but oh, I'm hoping we got a decent more to get through because I really love this. And I really don't want to have to wait too long for more of Jesse's content. But anyway, guys, let's jump right back into it. Please sit back and let me entertain you for the next 20 minutes and let's go. Alarm chain, you're up. Okay, all right. I'm not sure I'm ready to perform before hundreds of people like this, and risk one of them sending me over the edge again. I'll go with Walter if it means getting away from here, though. My sentiments, too. Let's take it one step at a time. Walter said to meet him at the, Str at the Strathcairn station this afternoon, if we choose so. I'm not sure they let werewolves on trains. Hey, it's not without risks. Perhaps we could stow away or try to get you a disguise. <laughs> a disguise? For all this? Jessie motions up and down her furry body, clearly thinking I'm out of my mind. Do you have any better ideas? She pauses, thinking. Not really. I, I mean, I guess we could try. Her excitement seems to be getting the better of her. Knowing that her fantasy might be within reach, she remains rightfully cautious, though. Malcolm, do we think that leaving with Walter is an option? Can we trust him? Truthfully, I'm not sure. But at this point, it's our only lead. Besides, if Walter offers us a bad deal, we can walk away. We'll run. You know how fast I can run. Where would we run? I worry about all the things that could go wrong, but right now, the last thing Jesse needs is more uncertainty. We have resources. We have each other. We'll figure it out even if we do it under the cloak of night with you in disguise. I'll also, I also have money. Enough stowed away for a rainy day or two. This is just the next step. Nothing is permanent. That's for sure. Our mutual eagerness to escape is now palpable, and it's almost a, it's almost certainly coloring our outlook with a rosy hue. There are yet hurdles before our departure. We'll need to stop on my home. No, not with... I hesitate to say not with that madman on the loose. But not my place. Agnes would welcome us with open arms. We, would, we could collect some money, some things. I dread the conversation with Gran, but I also know I could never leave without saying goodbye. Jessie must be able to read the concern on my face. She sighs and takes my hand. I'm so sorry this is what it's come of us. If I could go back in time and change the outcome. We're intact. We're together. Even if our dreams are dashed, I hope we'll create new dreams. One that we can make come true. Together. Always. Oh. With that, we swallow our fears and turn back from whence we came. A danger they're all too real, unlike the world of fantasies we've created for ourselves. Under the circumstances, some might call it folly. I probably could call, I probably could have myself in the past, but not now. Now I find it on purpose. I see how it fuels the fire of Jesse's spirit against all odds. I set myself ablaze with what that with that same kindling. I will take on her passion, her dreams, and make myself burn from within, never allowing anyone or anything to extinguish us. Well, this better not be it. Okay, okay, thank God it's it's not it. Thanks to careful pathing and Jesse's keen senses, we're able to steer well clear of the handful of people we encounter on the way to Gran's house. Once there, we see that the front door is partly ajar. I look to Je I look to Jesse before opening the door with bated breath. Hello? Oh, who's inside? <gasps> oh, wow, everyone, okay. Oh, God. Malcolm? Grace is holding Gran's hand tightly. The old mare's cheeks are damp with tears. She must have been worried sick. I'm sorry, Gran, we didn't. Oh, God. She stands and runs to me as fast as her small legs can carry her, grabbing and holding me as tight as the day I came home from overseas. No apologies. That's another word. You're safe. You're home. That's all that matters. Once I entered my home as a child, then a so-called hero. This time a survivor, ready to announce another departure. She feels so sturdy and frail all at once. It will devastate her that I am leaving. Malcolm, where is... Oh, God. <laughs> As Jessie steps to the door behind me, Little Toast zooms out from under the table and paws at her furry friend's feet. D Jessie? C sis Oh, God. <laughs> Gran and Grace's eyes light up. Marion's lights go out. Marion! And lunge over and catch her as she fully faints at the sight of her sister as a wolf. <laughs> She's always fainting. Look, I've got you. My words fall on deaf ears. Marion, goodness, you poor thing. Oh, let me get you some water. Better get some whiskey, too. 
Grace, will you fetch some blankets for your sister? Wait. Nope. Three guilt-ridden faces turn away from me. Did none of you ladies tell her? Silence and inverted eyes tell me my answer. I shake my head and carry Marion to the table. I'll have some explaining to do when she comes too. Oh god. Oh, it's... Oh. Oh, oh it's adorable! Oh, yep, there you go. There's the, uh... Yep, there's the, uh, <laughs> the thumbnail right there. Marion? Jesse, who has since changed into fresh clothes, speaks to her sisters with the, with the sister with the fond of the softness of a gentle breeze. Uh-oh. Hmm? You're all here? We're here, dearie. Are you all right? I had the strangest dream. Hmm. <laughs> and I think I've not yet woken. Don't worry about your mangy mutt of a sister, Marion. She's no fiercer than we toast. Jesse growls through bad teeth. Got to put that to the test, little sis. Stop it, both of you. You'll give Barry in the vapors. <laughs> Jesse, that's really you under there? It's me, Marion. You always said I was wild at heart. Well, here you go. Through dazed eyes, Marion still seems to be trying to make sense of what she's seeing. Is it makeup? A part of your act? No act, Marion. Magic. Magic is real? As real as you and me, and the heavens above. Always knew the tales we heard as we barons told a kernel of truth. I know this is a lot to take in. Would you like to rest now, or perhaps you'd like some tea? <laughs> Marion blinks. What do you mean, tea? Is, is no one else surprised that my sister is a dog? <laughs> I used to start shifting. Grand looks to me. I look to Grace, who looks to Jesse. Marion looks at all of us looking for an answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor dearie. We were going to tell you. I, I thought you knew. Ooh, me. Would it want to worry you? You carry so much on your shoulders already. You didn't need one more thing. And it wasn't a problem, at least until... Last night. <laughs> Marion shakes her head, either in disagreement or to shake off some cobwebs, perhaps both. Jesse, you don't need to hide anything from me. Family always comes first. No matter what, I'll always be here for you. Jesse's bright yellow eyes blink back tears. Thanks, sis. <laughs> so when father came home talking about a monster, he was talking about... Yours truly, yes. Marion, you and Grace should take care. Ran into Owen this morning and found him to be particularly volatile. Oh, we're aware. He showed up on our doorstep ranting and yelling. All unholy things, talking about the devil and demons, witchcraft and repentance. I went to throw my arms around him and he tossed me aside. And he booted us out of our own house. His house. We're all cursed beings, he said. When we're out to get in, we're to get out of his sight. Spoken like a true madman. Don't speak about father that way. He's not mad, he just needs help. Hmm. I think I understand now. Coming back from war to find his daughter like this, that's enough to drive anyone... Mad? He's not mad. <laughs> so Owen's been stubborn again, is he? I know a thing or two about stubborn. I'll speak to him, old mare and old, old mare to old mule. He'll see straight soon enough. A good old gran. Always willing to take the bull by the horns. Once this bull is armed and unhinged. Only this bull is armed and unhinged. I try to phrase it more delicately. Gran, I appreciate the gesture, but I don't think there will be any reaching him. Some bridges were burnt that can't be rebuilt. What do you mean by that? He means I'm not welcome here anymore. Marion looks between me and her changed sister. I can see that the news of our departure will hurt her as much as Gran. Don't say that! He needs just a day to rest, to calm down. He needs his space. This is almost unusual, yes, but in time he'll see nothing's changed. You, you are still you, right, Jesse? I'm no different than I've ever been. That's precisely the problem. Father was there, Marion, at the pub. He blew up at Jesse. During your performance? Yes, he saw everything. Heard everything. He erupted. So did I, for that matter. You know, I was never the daughter he wanted me to be. Because of your act? I don't understand. What happened at the audition? How did you end up like this? Marion's words must hurt Jesse more than she could know. The wounds are still fresh. Perhaps that is a question best saved for another time. It's all right, Malcolm. Jessie takes a deep breath, the ears drooping as she recollects. 
I lost all control. I tried to help people I cared about and only drew them deeper into this mess. Father pushed you over the edge. It's not your fault. <coughs> oh, I almost choked on my own tongue there. <laughs> it is my fault. I gave into the animal inside, and now look at me. I can't even put the lid back on what I've unleashed. I remember the sensations too well. The bubbling just beneath the surface. The feral urge is begging to be released. Feely caught between worlds, trapped and free at the same time. You've mastered these feelings before, Jesse. You will again in time. I believe in you. Alona said this would happen. What's to stop it from happening again? If I can't keep my claws sheathed when it matters, then why shouldn't people see me as a monster? The table falls quiet, save for the sound of Jesse's restlessly swishing tail. I can't pretend to understand any of what's going on, but you're my sister, Jesse. I know in my heart that you're not a monster. You're not evil or bad or have one mean bone in your body. I recall what Jessie told me the night she chased after the rabbit. Instinctively, she knew she didn't want to hurt it. Neither did I when I chased after a bunny myself. Marion's right. I'm <clears throat> sorry. Oh, Malcolm. Yeah, you're turning into a lady. Marion's right. Even if you give, even if you give in to your instincts, your nature is to never hurt a soul, unless they deserve it. What the hell, Telegram? <laughs> Grace, Lord help us all. Your instincts are far more insidious. Hey, I just meant Jesse's impulses did what they were supposed to do. They'll continue to defend us. Your sister's right, dear. You're neither monster nor animal. You're a wolver, a noble being, pure of heart. You've been touched by the Fae, and the magic will protect you, just as you protect your loved ones. Jesse gives each of us one, each of us an emotional smile. Thank you, all of you, for all the faith you place in me. Oh, one second. <clears throat> I'll be your biggest supporter forever, no matter how you look. I promise. I'm just very sorry I wasn't there last night to cheer you, cheer you on. Maybe I could have done something to help. Marion, no. Everything played out the way it was supposed to, I guess. You don't honestly believe that, do you? I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is that Malcolm and I are alive, and my instincts tell me we should make the most of it. Marion nods solemnly, tears forming at the corners of her eyes. It's not safe for you here, is it? Jessie shakes her head. You're leaving. The words come out of her factly. A statement, not a question. An inevitability. Grand looks to me with tears of her own. I'm sorry. I, I can't stay here. Rayon's tears flows freely now. All her work to preserve a semblance of family und undone overnight by a man who by all rights ought to have been at its center. I know we'll reunite. We won't be apart forever. Promise me that, at least. Of course. I can't be away from either of you for too long. I'd go mad. She catches herself. Not too mad, mind you. <laughs> we'll be a family again if we aren't together. And we know that... And I know that I want to take on your problems and make them better. I know you always do. I accept and cherish everything about you, Jesse. Even your... My fur... As long as it doesn't clog, clog my train. <laughs> oh. oh, nope, that's the thumbnail right there. The sisters laugh and the three embrace. Grace says little more and I know her pain is kept closer inside. The contrast Marion, of course, wears her heart on her sleeve. The faucet flows freely, her tears turning into sobs. Gran, who's been silently weeping throughout, pulls out her handkerchief to blow her nose loudly. Enough! Marion, enough with the tears, I don't want to cry. Oh, hush, I thought you'd like getting wet. <laughs> the youngest sister wiggles her way out of the group hug. Hey, Jesse, I suspected you might need to get out, get out of town, so I packed some of your things before we left. They're in our, um, Malcolm's room. You did? Thanks, Grace. I always knew I could count on you. There's the first time for everything. <laughs> Grace elbows Marion, and the sibling's truce is over as quickly as it came. Jesse looks, looks from Grant to me, then winks. Come on, girls. I need your help with something before I go. The sisters join hands and walk into my bedroom, toast at their side. When the door closes, Grand speaks up. I have to say goodbye again, don't I? Not for long, I hope. We just need to get Jesse somewhere safe until the dust settles, for the rumors and anger to subside. Grand looks at me wistfully, a delicate smirk on her face. Anger will fade fast. Rumors, they'll stick around longer than you think. No one knows the workings of the rumor mills better than Gran, and I worry she's right. Will you have help? Where are you going? That's the fond hope. 
Wondrous Walter offered to take Jesse on uh, on his review show. He says he'll make her a star. He says he'll make her a star. There's sadness in Grand's dark eyes. She smiles, but it barely hides her hurt and frustration. She's lost me to obligation, to service, and now to love and devotion. How much does that pain feel? Will that man keep her safe? I... <sighs> I we, we don't know yet. We have to trust someone. Jesse and I can't, st can't just hop a train out of here. She's... Well, for lack of better words, she's stuck as she is for now. With the fur? Aye. I'll worry over you night and day, but I do that even when you're here and my dear boy. Besides, I believe that girl can take care of herself, and you? Grand gazes past me, towards the bedroom in which I'd slept for so many years. A room I share with my, with my woman who's tearing me away from what's left of my born family. She's a star through and through. I can't wait to see her act in the big city. A sin, a sin for you. You can join us. To visit? Of course. But to stay? Nay, all that hustle and bustle is not for me. Anyway, I have responsibilities to tend to here. Responsibilities that I'm reminded I'll be leaving behind. Gran, we'd be alright on your own. I promise I shan't leave you long. I'll be back. I'll be back often to help. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm not an invalid. I'm old, that's all. I'll manage. I have the girls here. That's right. She has me. The, uh, the youngest MacLeod reappears and comes back to sit with us. I'm happy to live with Agnes. I'll help with whatever she needs. Once Marion sees what father has made of their living of their loving home, I imagine she'll want to stay here too. I expect Grant to object, but she has all smiles. You're too good to me. But we'll need to tear Marion up. Her heart will be shattered. Just for a while, I'll break my heel and hopefully father will change, become accepting, leave. We look at each other and shrug. No one has the right answer. My spirit remains deeply shaken. I've looked death in the face several times over, but never through the eyes of someone I expected to trust. Owen MacLeod's vindictiveness has seared a hole in my soul, one that will not heal with apologies or time, one that won't heal, ever. Well, I know that the, know that the Campbell House is always open, and we'll start with cordial four after a long day, after long days like these. Grace beams, and I know she'll be rewarded for her support. I can't thank you enough, Grace. I'm the one who is thankful. I have so many people looking out for me. And Jessie's lucky to have such talented sisters looking out for her. Damn you, allergies. Ooh. Oh my god. A <laughs> little Red Riding Hood. Well, what do you all think? Wow. Grace Snickers. The red suits you, dear. I look like Little Red Riding Wolf. <laughs> Is that your disguise? It's charming, but uh, about as subtle as a bullfighter's cape. Marion thought uh, Gra Jesse might appreciate something with form and function. Exactly. Oh, and I had to cut up your holiday tablecloth to make it. I, I hope you don't mind. Grace's face, Grace's Grand's face pales. Now that Marion says it, I recognize the stain where I spilled my very first eggnog near Jesse's left cheek. <laughs> That's very kind of you to do this, Marion. I asked for a cloak to conceal me. I said I got a cape that's louder than my old dress. Oh, listen, you. It hides your tail and your face from the sides just fine. And I thought you liked gaudy red outfits. It's at least... at least it's festive. It's a costume, that's all. If any strangers ask, you can say... I part of the circus. Jessie sticks her tongue out and rolls it. But it might be just the right answer. People will want to meet you. You want to be... You'll be just another famous pretty face, only with fangs. You don't really believe we'll get away with that, do you? Well, Walter travels around with a monkey on his shoulder, one that's dressed in military attire, no less. How much crazier is a wolf lady? I hope you're right. Jessie sidles up beside me and placed her paw on my shoulder. I blush, caressing the soft fur atop her fingers. Nerves still jangle around me inside. Inside me, but having her by my side eases my worries, if not the heartache for what I will, for what I will by leaving behind. I take it all in. My girlfriend and her two sisters, alongside my beloved grandmother. Two families become one. My family. When will we reunite again? I may be able, I may be unable to read the sky, but I know it's written in the stars. Desi squeezes my shoulder. I think it's time. Oh, what a wonderful loving family. Oh. It doesn't take me long to gather my belongings, which are scarce. While doing so, I calculate the costs of train travel to and from Acta Krig, and I'll need, as I'll need to return often. Grace and Marion can help run the farm, 
but I need to be here to assist from time to time. It's a pipe dream ahead of us, and I'm not oblivious to reality. I chuckled to myself. The reality is, I wish I could never, I wish I could never, I wish, the reality is I could never stay away for long. I would miss them all too much. Oh. I take our bags and Jesse holds the door for me. I've been home for less than a year, and off I go again. Are you sure it's safe to go out there? Out in the world among the strangers? We can't hide here. I'm trusting Walter to smuggle us out of here and into Glasgow. That's placing a lot of trust in one man. Jesse looks to me. Sometimes that's just what you have to do. Oh, I'm gonna pause it right there. Oh my god. Oh, oh such a beautiful story. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right there. Let me know how let me know if there's a decent amount left in this. I'm still gonna go back and do the other the other path for Jesse. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and go wishlist this game. It is on Steam. Yep, it's coming to Steam. Gonna be awesome. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!